So let me explain. It's through West Hills Community College. Community colleges in the state of California already have an agreement to transfer classes to the California State Universities and the UCs, right? So you know if you take a class that West Hills says is transferable, there's a good chance you've just saved yourself several thousand dollars and a whole semester of work. The cool thing about doing a dual credit class is you're sitting in this class already. So for another $380, you're literally saving yourself another semester of work in college. Um, the class that it actually meets a requirement for is English 1A. This is a required course on every California State University and UC campus. Everybody has to take English 1A. So how wonderful to take it now, and you just opened up an opportunity for you to take another class. So to me, this is one of those that is just a slam dunk. If you have the 380, it'll be some of the best money that you've spent. So let me explain how the application works. When you apply to college, you're going to um, put all of our courses, right? You're going to put all the classes that you've taken at Valley Christian High School. Oh, I was just setting that down. Just <laughs> I've got to talk with my hands. <laughs> I've got too many papers. Um, and then it's going to say, have you taken any college courses? So you're going to put English 11 for Valley. It says, have you taken any college courses? And you're going to say, well, yes. I'm a West Hills Community College student. You put in West Hills, and you say, what class? And it says English 1A. They're not even called the same class. So you're getting credit with us, and then you're getting that English 1A taken care of. So we feel really strongly that the CSUs and the UCs will be taking this class. And there's also a lot of other universities that will probably take it too. For example, our young man back here with the University of Oregon sweatshirt feel very um, positive that they'll take the credit because they have the previous students. Um, the only ones that seem to be a little finicky about it are some of your highly competitive universities. For example, a Stanford wants you to take their English class, so they might not give you credit for it. But you all, you get to put on your application that you're a West Hills Community College student. So it does add strength to your application, even if the credits don't transfer. So if they don't transfer, the only thing you're out is that $380, but then there's this great piece that maybe it actually helped you get into a university because you showed that you were doing college level material in English alone. So see how you just got a college class without having to do an AP class. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> so it's a really, really great opportunity for you that I encourage you to consider, um, if I were do, if I were looking at dual credit and I was a high school student right now, this is the one I don't think I'd flinch. I would think like this makes a lot of sense because you get that English 1A taken care of. Mm -hmm. The other thing too I know about English 1A at the CSUs and the UCs, it, it closes. It is so impacted because every single kid has to take it. It closes, you get closed out. The students get frustrated because they can't get in there and they, yet they need to meet the requirement. So again, to not even have to be a part of that mess and just know you've met this requirement is a really wonderful thing for you to consider doing. All right, do you have any questions for me? Uh-huh. Oh, I kind of forgot. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do you apply for the dual credit? So Mrs. Silva's gonna go through all of that with you. I mean, we're coming in right now to tell you because the application process, you know, it happens really quickly. Um, so we want you to be able to go home, talk to your parents about it tonight. She's gonna put this little video um, on her VCS.net uh, so that, uh, learn at VCS so that parents can look at it if they want to hear like, exactly what Mrs. Fairchild said or if they have questions about anything I've said, they know who to contact. Um, did I see another hand go up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I transfer to another class, would it still be eligible? Has to be Mrs. Silva's English 11. Mm -hmm. okay. So Mrs. Mendolia has a different, she does it through Colorado Christian. This class is through West Hills. Um, so you need to stay with.